shit. James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Hi, sir. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown, what you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survive that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? Watch out. You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Easy. How are you feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. 
Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, the lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. People see that, especially when they get a few years. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. Whoa! That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Now, I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. Good young man. Fairly well, fairly well. <laughs> you know what? Oh, here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I'm just starting to do you here a bit. You throw us on the horn. Yeah! 
bit better. This session has been free of crap, so I might call again. How much will it cost? I'm offering you virility, and you're asking me about money, sir. I ain't made of money, Mr. My rates are reasonable. Have a think about it. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. stick around here for not sure until we can't i suppose take yeah. it easy arthur okay here we are just pull the coach into the barn there <laughs> hello seamus we met your cousins how was it fine nice people mm. park that thing in here Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Just calm down. Yep. Hi, Molly. Morning, Arthur. Hi, John. Sure, Grimshaw could use an extra pair of hands around here. Well, I'm nobody's servant girl, Mr. Morgan. Good morning, Arthur. 
Feels like we're back on track, more or less. Yep, money and food. Now everyone needs. Ah, we give me some bloody room here. One night when I was frisky, nice. I'm too much pulled through whiskey. Like waves on the morning, Arthur. God, that animal is a goddamn menace. <laughs> you saved me, partner. Woo! I was almost a meal there. Here I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Come on. Oh, thank boy. you, thank you, sir. Shall I hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. What are you 
doing out here anyway? Clearly ain't your natural habitat. I don't uh, know. I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, then? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all. I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame jack and I'll show you Broadway. Will you slow down? So anyway, as I was saying... And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no offense. Little taken. <laughs> oh, I remember that. We're on the path. Close to town. <laughs> Sir, you've rescued me from the depths. <laughs> you seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. Hello, sir. I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang. Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir. Let me out of here, you maggots! Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months, and now I got an opportunity to watch you be silent. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <laughs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people. 
Want to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Yes. Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Down, you fat sack of crap! Oh, excuse me, man at Arthur. Can we get 
I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. Whoa! I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes... Brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. Yep. Go, go. Easy. Ah! 
Hello, mister. Oh. Hello. Why today, isn't it? Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy house frau or pompous middle class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just... There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes. Not the easiest. But, well... I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh! Good heavens! My bag! That thing is robbing me! Oh, good heavens! Don't worry. That thing is a coyote. Sneaky one, too. A live photographer. about coming back. full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. <laughs> you are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I'm can't thank you enough. I'm I'm thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm uh, you take care, sir. <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. Okay, then. 